Hello and welcome to another episode of Talking Shop. Today we're joined by Lewis Turner, aka Tyraps and Tape. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know who you want on Talking Shop next. Shout out to Josh from uh, UOK Clothing. Make sure to check out their stuff. Um, some really good gear on there, and um, a lot of the profits go to uh, mental health charities, um, which is brilliant incentive. So make sure to check them out. We'll uh, we'll put a link in the description, won't we, then? Okay. Thanks for coming, mate. Anyway, we're ready. Yeah, with, I mean, you've been here an hour. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna say yeah, we've been here a yeah. long time, aren't we? Yeah, I'll yeah. tell you what you should do first of all before we start asking uh, the questions is tell everyone what you've actually come in today. Oh, I've come in my skid bus. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call it. it. Well, in fact, what ta- what was the temperature when you left this morning? Minus three, I think it was. When I got out of bed <laughs> and, and you've come in a drift started. car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that yeah. was fun. I used to slide it by, mate. It, it, yeah. On the M1. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, to be fair though, because of that gearbox ratio and everything, you you can't really go over sixty mile an hour because it sits at like four and a half k. Oh, yeah, so it's screaming its tits yeah. off all the way here. It's a lot of noise. Oh yeah, so it's all stripped out on the inside yeah. as well. So it's just you can hear every bump, every rattle. Is it brilliant. turboed as well? Yeah, yeah it's that. turboed. Yeah, yeah, it's been boosted. And you've had to put it back together again. Yeah. What That's happened to that? Is that a new engine then? Isn't it? Well, yeah. And, yeah. and your thumb. You've had to put your thumb back together. Uh, your yeah, finger. finger, finger. Yeah, you had to put your finger back together. It's been a, it's been a rough what week, a mate. a week. <laughs> it's been, yeah. I've only been fr- done three days at work. It's been a rough three days, yeah. to be fair. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> How did it start the other day anyway? It, it was something, didn't you spill lead oil on it everywhere? Yeah, so I got <laughs> I got to work and I had loads of shame back in my van. So I thought I'd best empty it out. Yeah. Open my side door. And I was greeted to just a massive puddle of oil. <laughs> like a proper puddle of oil. Brilliant. Oh, mate, that was a good start to the morning. Though. Yeah. Yeah, but I saw morning. that. It was the same day, wasn't it? I saw that. And then the next video I saw from you was finger, like blood everywhere on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And then literally at the end of the day, I was like, wow, he's had a shocker. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. a quick load, didn't it? The, yeah. the first video were like, it was just dripping a little bit and it was a few little spots on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Then two minutes later, second video was like a, <laughs> a decent sized puddle were front yeah. there. Oh yeah. When the, with the size of the puddle, I thought I was literally like, I've been about now, we're going to get a message like, I'm really sorry. I can't come on the podcast. I've lost my hand. I've lost my finger. I'm not having my hand after status. <laughs> That's no excuse. That's no, no, excuse. no, a bit of electric tape and it's, uh, yeah. It but you don't like, like, but you're just saying before the, we start this, you don't actually like working on your own stuff though. No, I absolutely hate working on my own stuff, mate. I'd rather pay someone to do it. Yeah. When you do it for so long, you know what I mean? Yeah. Do hundred hours a week and you're 24 hour call out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you don't we, want to do your own stuff. We get a lot of like technicians who absolutely hate working on cars because obviously Jow Test and Eclipse, we are commercial vehicle focused yeah. or heavy duty focused, whatever you want to f- want to call it. We actually get like a lot of people like hate working mm. on cars as well. Yeah, the cars is there's too small. Yeah, you can't get to anything. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. especially this car as well because this you can't even diagnose this car it's not got OBD it's got, <laughs> well, it's got OBD1 and you've got yeah. to bridge some ports and it's Morse code on a Nice. On an LED. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it blink code, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, trucks are so much better to work on. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. I suppose leads into one of the questions really was, how did you get into HGV uh, really? Was it was it through choice or did it... <coughs> Well, just one of my pals. Have a- no choice. He's just forced. Yeah. 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 Forced yeah. into it. You, you will fix no choices. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I was working on cars and stuff and money weren't great. great. And I was speaking to a few people and they said that money's not really going to get much better than what you're already on. And then a position came up in, it was literally like a three minute walk from my house, um, fixing trucks. So I thought, you know what, I'll go get interview, see what, see what crack is. Anyway, got job and I just, I fell in love with it from there, to be honest. I never touched a car again after that, yeah. like mm. to make money sort of thing, like yeah. as a job, never done it again. It was just straight trucks after that. Other than your own, obviously. Yeah. Other, other than my own <laughs> nails. Yeah. <laughs> Was it mobile that you wanted to sort of do originally then? Or No, to be fair, I wanted to stick in a workshop because I, I don't mind the big jobs, you know, doing like relines on trails and stuff, engine swaps, clutches, all of all the big jobs. Yeah. But when you're out on road, you've got like your own boss sort yeah. of thing. Mm-hmm. You know I mean, there's no one bothering you. You, just, you take your breaks when you want, take mm-hmm. it steady. Yeah. You've got the freedom, I suppose, of every day is different, isn't it? Yeah, you know, this is it. Every day is different. And you get to see places as well that you will not usually see, do you know what I mean? And mm. see certain things. Like when you're outside at motorway with, I love it, me. People say like, oh, it's a dangerous job. Yeah, but yeah. when I'm outside at Slip Road or on my shoulder and I've got yeah. trucks coming past me at 56 and I'm under, it's yeah. wobbling trail. I love it, me. Yeah, so it's, yeah. the, it's, I suppose, the buzz, isn't it? Of it and the, yeah, it's the, a bit of a thrill. Yeah. You know I mean, yeah. it gets adrenaline going. Yeah. I was, uh, I speak to Jimmy Osborne, Osborne commercial assistant, shout out. And um, we took, he was, I don't know if you saw it, he put a post up of some like absolute botched wiring <laughs> from the, from a dealer that he'd had to fix. What's like the worst job you've had to go out and mend from somebody else's shocking, uh, shocking work? 
Well, one of them I'll not mention because no. they don't they don't like me. Oh, okay, so enough. we're not we're not going to specifics with that. No. I'll tell you after the podcast <laughs> yeah. with this one. Um, but to be fair, it's it's usually just wiring, like alt mechanical stuff's a piece of pie. Like anyone can do that sort of stuff. Mm. But when it comes to wiring, you've got people that have cut and chopped into looms and they don't know what they're doing and they've bridged things across. And you come to it where like your side markers aren't working, for example. You come to it, you get underneath and it's just like heat shrinks galore all over and different coloured wires because pits have been joined in or made longer and it's a nightmare. Wiring faults. Wiring diagrams aren't going to work anymore then. (laughs) (laughs) To be fair, I I, I pulled one of your wiring diagrams up other day for for some cab locks on a Mercatego. Could I get my head around it? I've got (laughs) got three people on phone, we're in a group call and I'm like, just look at this diagram. I'm like, this goes to this, this goes to this. I suppose that's the the benefit you've got in the industry. You know, if you're not sure of something, it'd be someone else that's- Oh, there's always someone that knows. There's always someone that knows. To be fair, lads at our place, there's- Everyone knows their own little bits and bats, so we all ring each other and get job done. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, but they're they're, they're helpful. Yeah. there's There's a guy there called Josh and he's just- Mad, he knows everything. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, yeah, if you yeah. if you can't if he can't fix it, no one can fix He's it. Been there sort and of seen thing. It. Yeah, this is it. Well, it's all experience, isn't it? And you know, one day, you know, it, it, you you would have seen most sort of instances at least once. Yeah, I'm this sure. is it. Like t- typically, your roadside jobs, it's all just going to be the same sort of stuff. Your air leaks, you know, your yeah. your warning lights on dash, your, your side marker faults, stuff like that. You you go out to everything, like it's it's repetitive sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not so nice this time of year, I suppose, with the temperature, but... Uh. <laughs> to, be, to be fair, it's not too bad. You get wrapped up. Yeah. I've got an heated coat and stuff. Oh, nice. You get used to it. I've seen thing. them. They're, they're, they're really good, actually, aren't they? I, I, do I, I don't think mine's that good. I think mine's really? rock, to be fair. Oh, really? Oh, right. Every, I did a review on it and everyone's saying, oh, yeah, mine's mint. You must be using it wrong this time over or battery must be dying or yeah. something. Yeah. Battery's fully charged. It's like a high output battery. <laughs> and yeah, I've got it on full and it does nothing. <laughs> everyone says, yeah. oh, I sweat wearing mine. I can't have it on for too long. I've got to turn it down. That's true. Not me. Yeah. It's no. shocking. I think it's sold me a dud, mate. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, it's sold me a dud. Someone get Lewis a new heated jacket. <laughs> I'll tell you what we need. So I was stood minus three yesterday doing a demo for a customer plugged into some daft. And we were stood in his concrete yard. And obviously it's all wet and whatever. And it's just all frozen over. So I'm literally stood on blocks of ice, basically. <laughs> and heated jackets is one thing. You need heated shoes or like heated socks. Because yep. it don't matter how many <laughs> layers you're wearing. If your feet are cold, yeah. it's in your bones. You're not in the, in your bones cold. And you get back in your van or you get back in your car. And you put it's your like it's, on, it it's your ends, isn't it? It's like oh. your hands and your feet and oh, your yeah. head are cold. You're just cold. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. I don't have that problem with my feet though. No. no oh, my feet are usually sweating. No, yeah. um, bad circulation to my hands, feet and my ears as well. I think there's a, oh, thing, there's a, there's a name for that. Is it like rain or something? Yeah, yeah is it? Okay. It's something like that. Yeah, if you like fingertips go blue and stuff. My, but my, actually you're better suited to cold if your fingers and your, it, because it's pulling your blood into yeah. your, your vital organs. Is it if your hands yeah. go like purple? Yeah, yeah. Well? It's like circulation yeah. problems. So you'll last longer in wild. true northern you know blood in me. Yeah, that's Viking. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously I look like one, don't I? Yeah, I'm yeah. basically <laughs> Thor, no, Thor, Thor, the mountain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, anyway, what we, what we talk about, we talk about um, roadside, weren't we? So roadside stuff and um, yeah. How fun it is in the winter to yeah yeah to, to be working on roadside stuff. I really don't mind it. To be fair, There's, you get a few people who don't who don't like it. It, it brings the the true roadside tech out because yeah. people love it in summer. It's great in summer, you know, when it's nice and warm yeah. and you're outside working and stuff. As soon as it comes to winter, there's a everyone leaves. Yeah. <laughs> no yeah. one wants to yeah. do it. It's it's tough yeah. through winter. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. How long have you been doing it for? The roadside stuff. Uh, heavy tech. That's what. How long? Have, how long have you been a technician for? Well, I started doing the heavy stuff at. I think you're 18 when I started. Yeah, so how old you now? That's four year. I'm 22. 22. Yeah, yeah. So about four year. I've done the roadside Sick. stuff about two and a half. Yeah. Two and a half, yeah. What's your dad and your granddad's airline like? Are we, are we, are we really doing the two pay <laughs> this, this, this is what it's come to. It's come to. No, you know we, what? We, my, my hairline, yeah, is it's not actually that bad. No, it's, it's bang on. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll show you a bad airline. My granddad <laughs> and my dad are bald though. Oh, really? So I think it, there's no hope, is there? <laughs> nah, you'll be you'll be right. If you're t- 22 now, you have to put me that. onto your man. Yeah, to speak to this guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. put me onto yeah. your boy. Put you onto yeah. Brendan <laughs> in his, Istanbul. I don't think his real name's Brendan. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not Brendan, is it? <laughs> no, 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 it's funny as well because the other ones are like Ryan. I'm like nah, nah, not nah. a chance. No, nah. <laughs> Ryan Smith. Yeah, Ryan, Ryan Smith. <laughs> Turkey, Istan- Istanbul <laughs> hair transplants. But um, what, at what point did he decide? 
Okay, things are good. Um, I'm going to start posting on social media. What sort of made you sort of go on to do that? Was it already there in the background or? No, to be fair. Obviously we've, I don't know if you see with Riri Roadside and recovery stuff, there's always people posting pictures on Instagram yeah. and, you know, Facebook and stuff. And I just, I was watching Ash all the time. I was watching Ash, I was watching Jack, yeah. I was watching yeah. all of them. And it was just basically like, you know what I can do? Like, you know, like I, I come out to some right stuff. If I record it, we'll just see what happens. Yeah. Um, recorded a video, edited it on my phone, stuck it on. I was expecting, you know, just, it'll take over maybe a couple of thousand views at most. Mm. And it just banged to be fair. I think it did like some like 110,000 views in, in first day. Wow. And I'm like, well, yeah, that's worth this, is, this is yeah. mad, this, you know? <laughs> yeah. So I thought, you know what? We'll keep uploading and kept uploading, uploading. And every video, I think it was every video we're uploading. I was gaining like a thousand followers every video. And then it just got to, to a, point. a certain point. Now I can't really not no. <laughs> not do it because yeah. people want the videos. You know yeah, what I mean? they want but the content. Yeah, it right. makes the job more interesting, though. To be fair, you know, recording the videos. Yeah, it, so I know. suppose at times it is it is a lonely job, isn't it? So having that as well, you can sort of do in the background. It sort of fills your time a little bit. And yeah, so, this is yeah. I mean, it is a bit of a lonely job. To be fair, I'm yeah, not going to yeah. lie. When you're out and about all day by yeah. yourself, like you can speak on phone and stuff, but you're not actually <laughs> no. engaging. It's definitely an industry though, where like everybody. Although the, like everybody's sort of in competition, I suppose, but everybody sort of works together in a way. It's like the Facebook forums and stuff like, yeah. So generally you, everybody helps each other. Yeah. You, the try to, obviously you get some companies that we won't name, but yeah, you get some places that it's my area. This, this is my area. You shouldn't be here. Do you know what I mean? We cover this area. We mm -hmm. do this, that we do other. And it's like, just, just have a day off, pal. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? There's plenty of work out there for everyone. Yeah, of course. Do you know what I mean, there's thousands of trucks on road. They're all breaking. Yeah. So mm -hmm. everyone needs the work, but what do I know? Mm. I'm just a mechanic. <laughs> Is that how you know Ash then? Because obviously you guys are the banter. Just for, obviously <laughs> yeah. we spoke about rubber glove. Was but... it just before Christmas that uh, sort of it was to and from video? It was. It was. It, it was, was funny. Funny. back yeah. and forth because yeah. he uploaded. Uh, I, it started because I commented on one of his videos. I think I said something about his hair or something daft. And he's like, you can't comment on headpieces, you know? <laughs> and then he made a, a video reply to yeah, it. Yeah, and that's when he dunked gloves and everything. I thought, oh, you ass, I'm going to have to reply to this, yeah. aren't I? So I made a video and then obviously he had props and stuff. Oh. So I thought, oh, I'll watch this then. And he's always on about his gym videos and he's got yeah. tattoos. So I went and bought a tattoo sleeve. I went and bought a little <laughs> string of vest. I bought a beard. Yes. So I'm about to spray paint this beard because it came yeah. white with a Santa beard. <laughs> so I'm about to spray paint it brown. <laughs> but yeah, I've just got a beard sat on my floor in my bedroom now and a, and yeah. a tattoo sleeve. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just ready for when you need yeah, it's to. It's ready for action, yeah, mate. Yeah, it's ready yeah, to yeah. pull out whenever it needs <laughs> to be pulled out. Yeah. To be fair, I need to reply to him, to be honest, because I didn't reply to the last one. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. I was poorly over Christmas, so I just oh, yeah. I didn't bother. He's doing his YouTube now hasn't he? he's been doing yeah, that he's it killing it to be oh, fair yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's good but it's too long format for me that people ask me to start youtube and stuff but it's easy just to do like one job get a little couple of snippets out of it mm. and yeah. then tiktok it yeah i'm so used to your format now like you coming out of your van right i'm pulling up to this job we've got aldex valve to do blah 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 so mm. and by the way uh um even up in the way of uh, uh, months, months ago it, i sort of like inverness sort of area they have been seen something on TikTok from a lad doing the same procedure. I'm like, I know who that is. <laughs> I'm, yeah. like, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Oh, what, Lewis. Yeah. And he went, oh yeah, I think it was. Yeah. All yeah. the way up there had seen your videos and they were doing the same thing to overcome their faults. So yeah. there you go. Yeah. Because <laughs> these Aldex valves, they get, they get all these faults, obviously pressure yeah. sensor faults for brake and suspension. Yeah. And then you've got, obviously you change your, your QRV valve on it and stuff. Mm. But people don't really know about these kits that you can buy. Mm. I mean, they are hard to get older granted to be fair. Right. Okay. Um, but yeah, no one knew about them when yeah. I uploaded a video and they're like, oh, can we need part number this down over? And that's pretty much how I got in touch with Ash, actually, to be fair. Yeah. Someone, because he was struggling, he was like, does anyone know a fix for this? Because I'm changing ECU after ECU at 12, 1300 quid ago. Yeah. Um, and then he, someone put him onto my video. So that's how I got talking, yeah. really. Just messaged me about that. Yeah. Did you sort of discover that then? Or had you sort of seen it, it happen before? Or did you sort of think, actually, this this could work doing it that way? How do you no, so when you're working on fleet, like obviously I did, um, I worked on fleet for a while Yeah. and you need to try and keep costs down because it keeps your gaffer happy. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So the, the least money they're spending on the yeah, vehicles well, and they're still running, the better aren't they? Do you know yeah, what I mean? Of course. Yeah. Um, but obviously when you're changing, when you've got a full fleet of Aldex Gen 3 and they're all coming up with same brake supply pressure or suspension supply pressure mm. and what are you supposed to do? You can't keep changing valves no. at 1300 quid ago. Mm. And then we just come across this sensor. Mm. We just rang about, rang past place and stuff and HGV Direct said to sell this it's a external pressure sensor kit. Mm. All right, we'll crack on. Yeah. And then obviously gel test a piece of pie to program mm. it and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Good. Yeah, no, I, I, when I saw it, I thought, yeah, that's that's going to get quite popular. Actually. Yeah, the yeah album. But people said they're a, a temp fix. I mean, Aldex do say they're a temp fix, but okay. I've had them on trailers going like a year and a half, two years now, and they're still, still sweet. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Shout out to, shout out to the gel test. <laughs> it's a great piece of kit, yeah, man. Honestly, good, I haven't lost it? without it, I promise you. So good. Go out to all these faults, you, you actually yeah. lost without it. It's the technical support as well, do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, there's been a few instances where I've not been able to get into a vehicle or I, I yeah. need a bit more information on a fault code. Ring up and it's straight away, they're on it. Yeah. Like, your guys know what they're talking about, don't we, to yeah. be fair? Well, we've mm. been, mm. when did your dad set it up? 2005, the tech support? So uh, it's like yeah, all that data since 2005. Yeah. I'm going to say there's... Yeah, they know yeah. they know the stuff. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Some of the lads the there as well have been with us for so long. Yeah, yeah. You think like, I had two yesterday, two faults. Trucks had been elsewhere. Um, we plugged them both in a DAF and a Volvo. Bang! There's your fault codes. One needed a new knock sensor. The other one was we needed to do a dosing test. To figure out. I think it basically crystallised or whatever. There you go. See you later. Fifteen minutes. Done. Two trucks. Yeah. That's that's what we do. You know, <laughs> we have a big database, a sort of regular fault. So let's say if you ring up with a something that maybe you're not sure about, well, we've probably seen that before. So yeah, yeah this try is this. It, it. Yeah, yeah. So no, that's good to hear. Thank you. Yeah. Where did tie wraps and tapes come from? Tie wraps and tape. Yeah. <sighs> tie wraps and tape. So. Oh, I used to work on bikes when I left school. So I got kicked out of school when I was younger. So I was a little asshole, basically. I think I left, got kicked out of like 13 or something. <clears throat> and I just thought, you know, I may as well. School's just... overrated. Yeah, this, this, this <laughs> school's overrated. I, I've yeah. only have, well, to be fair, I've got no qualifications and I do job I do. And yeah. And it, it does shave actually. And uh, it, you, don't, <laughs> you don't need them. Well, this is it. You know, when you're hands on, hands on sort of beast qualification, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. anyone can read from a book and tell you about how to do it. But when you're actually getting hands on and then. It's completely different. I think with school, I think uh, I've talked about this before. Uh, you're taught how they want you to be taught. So you, you know, no life experience, no skills where you, you're right. You know, you don't need that to be able to do a particular job. You know, um, if you want to be a doctor or you want to be something, you know, specifically fine. Yeah. Fair fine. enough, isn't it? Um, but I think most important thing in life is to have experience. Yeah. You need to be hands on. Yeah. Cause yeah. We've, we've had people come, like I've seen it, all places I've worked, I've had people come over level three qualified and you send them out on a roadside job and they can't competently diagnose any faults whatsoever. It's all right when you're in a workshop of, you know, six, seven lads and you can have a yeah. chat about it and yeah. get a bit of help here and there. Mm-hmm. But when it's two o'clock in the morning, no one's answering phone and you're outside at motorway and it needs That's to be it. moved and fixed. Mm-hmm. What can you do if all these, all these qualifications sort of then go out at window because they don't know no. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So that's where, you know, experience and, and being in the field, you've sort of, you have to fend for yourself really. Do you yeah, get a buzz yeah, out of yeah. it as well? I think you have to as a technician anyway, but do you get a buzz? You know, when you've found something and you've got, it's two o'clock, it is two o'clock in the morning. I've rang for you, but I've found it. I've done it. Yeah, it's, it's nice. You get back in the van, you look at the, you, oh, you won't have one, but you, you move your little mirror like, yeah, it was me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I did, I did, I did that. I'm the man. Yeah. No, I, yeah. I do know to be fair. I know, I'm like, you know what, I'm that guy, you know, yeah. like I've come out and done this. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, some sometimes, but you get certain faults that people go out to like decks and tail lifts and stuff. No one likes them. Mm. But when we've been out to that many that you sort of get there and driver will just explain what it's doing and you go, I know what that is. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Crack on. And nine times out of 10, it is Mm. what they're saying. What's it like being a technician? Obviously you went, I can't say, oh yeah. What was it like in the eighties? Cause you're, (laughs) you're 22. (laughs) What do you, what's it like being a young technician nowadays? There's a lot of criticism. Mm-hmm. No one trusts you. There's no trust. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? They'd rather an old boy do it because he's got 30 years experience. Whereas yeah. I've only got like, let's say five or six years experience. Yeah. So it ends up picking up the computer like this. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's saying. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. The, the Oxon sensor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 this is it. Yeah. But yeah, there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of criticism. Obviously the I turn up to break down and. The, mm. the see me, I look young and stuff. Yeah. Especially if I shave my tash off. I look, oh, great, yeah, I look yeah. great young. Yeah. Um, and like, there's a video on my TikTok, to be fair, of a guy coming out. And as soon as I got there, it's like, you can't fix that sort of thing. And it's like, it just makes you determined more to fix it, to be yeah. fair. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Because yeah, then them, you can actually. just be like, well, you know what? Mm. Fuck you, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, I've, I've done, I've done exactly what you want me to do uh, in, in in very little time. There you go. Should have said. Well, I've got a tool of vans there, pal. I'll tell you what. 
I'll get my deck chair out. Just stick yeah, it here. This is it. If, if you, if you <laughs> yeah, know better, yeah, yeah. crack on, mate. Yeah, Toolbox is there. Yeah. Yes. So you, go, you carry on. <laughs> so I suppose linked to that, then, what advice would you give to to young technicians? If, if, if they're sort of wanting to do it, not sure, um, what, what advice would you give them? Well, I get, I get this all the time on Instagram, to be fair, a load of people like, oh, I want to get into it. How do I get into it? What's best place to start, you know? If you've already got a mechanical background from cars, bikes and stuff, just mm. take the leap. The only yeah. difference is the air system, really, that you've got mm. to watch out for. Um, but it depends what you want to do, really. I, people say go to a dealer, but if you go to a dealer, you're learning one specific truck or yeah. like you're just learning one specific brand sort of thing. So then if you go anywhere else, you can't really diagnose yeah. faults on other things because you've never seen it before. Mm-hmm. Whereas if you go to like a backstreet garage, let's let's call it, that does everything, yeah. yep. then you've got a bit of a mix matching knowledge, haven't you? You've worked yeah. on all these brands of trailers, all these brands of trucks, you've seen all these different axles and stuff. It's easier just to go to... If you want to do it, just jump in. Mm. That's that's what I tell them. I say, if you, if you want to do it, just get stuck in. It's not for everyone though, because mm-hmm. the hours and all this stuff, it's it's certainly not for everyone. Yeah, but yeah. you've got to be committed, haven't you? Yeah, you've, you've got to love it, mate. Yeah. Like I, I love my job, me. If, if you don't love this, if you don't love the truck scene, so like you don't like all the, like going to shows and stuff and yeah. all that, you've just, you've got no chance. Yeah, yeah you, you're, right, you're right. It doesn't just stop with the job, does it? It's everything else as well. You know, it's, I suppose, the community, the shows. Yeah, yeah. this is it. It's not, it's not just a job for, no. for most of us. No. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Obviously we've got a night, we've got us vans with all those nice flashy lights and mm. all those bars and stuff. Yeah. Then all the show trucks and you yeah. get to meet people at shows and, that's how you guys network, really, isn't it? You know, a lot yeah, of shows, shows it is, yeah. That's it. That's, that, yeah, exactly. I mean, we, we sponsor a few, to be fair, at, at York oh, you? Rescue. Yeah, we sponsor a few bus and bus and truck shows and that because we do all the recoveries and stuff for old buses, like you know, like the old school stuff. Old school buses. Yeah, proper yeah. old school buses. <laughs> yeah. But I'm not used to this old school stuff. No, no. at all. I'm no. used to the newer stuff. I've never really worked on old, like no, yeah. older. I suppose that's why you know, you've got the benefit really is you, you sort of you've grown up and, and, and only really worked on newer stuff. So that's where you've got advantage over, let's say, uh, somebody hasn't w- grown up around all the technology. Yeah. yeah. That's it. So actually yeah, it's, it's, that's the strength. Yeah. With, with your old boys, I suppose they're, they're stuck in the way. So they've got their ways of diagnosing stuff that, yeah. you know, might not work these days. Mm-hmm. Cause I'd, like I said, I'll be honest with you. If I didn't have that gel test, you, you ain't got a chance these days. You need a good diagnostics to be able to, mm to diagnose. You yeah. Know what well, I mean? We often say actually, you know, uh, where maybe even five, 10 years ago, it was a luxury having this, this yeah. kit and it's a necessity now. Yeah. Yeah. It is a necessity now. hundred percent. You can't do a job without it. No. No. I'll go to like own a driver, uh, uh, works, uh, works for Hanson's or whatever, got a contract with Hanson's or whatever you want to call it, franchise. And, uh, they'll buy the jazz for one, for one truck. And I totally, I'd get it now, but I didn't at the time. I was like, well, you want to buy one? Great. Um, you know, good luck with it. We'll do all the training, whatever. Um, and away you go, but one truck. And he's like, well, yeah, it's cheaper than a spare truck. So yeah. this um, is it, isn't it? You only it's have watch. one truck. In fact, it's more paramount for me to do it than maybe a haulage company with 10 trucks who maybe has two in the yard spare. I don't get that privilege. So no, it's yeah, um, he's just got his, his own truck. He needs to be rolling. Yeah. It needs to yeah. be rolling. Yeah. Well, it's, it's I, I get it all the time. You can't change your light bulb now without your kit, that sort of stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. To be fair though, drivers aren't allowed to do much these days. They're mm. not allowed to jump start, fit bulbs, anything. Yeah. Like yeah. I've drove miles. Like mm. I've drove like two, three hours out of my way just to fit in a light bulb before wow. mm. because the drivers aren't allowed just to do not it. Not allowed to, no. Not allowed to touch it. Which, yeah, yes, I sort of see the pros and cons really but but yeah yeah sure you know headlight bulb you'd like to think would be <laughs> you'd like to think most drivers <laughs> would be able to change that one you come on yeah. sort of bulb yeah but <laughs> some of them yeah. can't <laughs> yeah. some of them shouldn't <laughs> but, yeah. yeah i was speaking to one, one guy yesterday he's like i told this driver he started with me he says you got any stupid questions no such thing as stupid questions just ring me i'll always pick up the phone to you and uh anyway about a week later he um done his checks in the morning he gets 15, 20 minutes to do that or whatever, jumps in the truck, leaves and, um, you know, everything's fine. And the engine light comes on and I don't know why, but apparently he thought, oh, it must be oil level though. So he looks around the truck and there's a can of something there. So he fiddles the engine oil up with cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, it says, so then he rings, he goes, oh, I've, I've talked to the oil. I think it was that. So he says, right, okay, come back then. He says, where'd you get the oil from? He says, oh, just, you know, I just, can in the back, it's rusty old can. <laughs> right, okay. You not see on the other and obviously on the other side of the can, 
cleaner. And he's got to put that in the in the engine. So yeah, yeah. Well, Toast. There's yeah. one guarantee: the engine will be clean. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 The yeah. cleanest engine yeah. on the road, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was like three or four grand. So damage. It didn't need a new engine, but still three or four grand damage. So. Well, people do need to ask. Yeah. You yeah. know, we uh, we've got a young lad at our. Well, I say young lad. He's, I think he's a year older than me, so he's like same sort of age. Yeah. But he's just finished off his apprenticeship and he's not really seen much. And I said to him all the time, if, you, if you're struggling, just, 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 just ring me. Mm, yeah. Don't matter what time it is, we're not saying shifting or anything, just ring me. I'd rather you ring me mm. and we can get it sorted than you start chucking parts at it or you, you're messing it up even more. Do you know what I mean? If, yeah. you're, if, you don't, if you're not confident, yeah. just give a bell yeah. and we'll, we'll work through it. Mm, mm. You'd rather, yeah, you'd rather that than I've just done this and actually it's caused this. Yeah, this is, this is it. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've done this and now this is broken. This is happening and it's like. And now I need you to come and help me fix it. Yeah, <laughs> it's a nightmare. There isn't enough. Like I go, I feel like I'm going to workshops and companies now and I feel like I'm seeing less and less young techs. No one wants to do it. Mm. What, why would you want to come and work out in cold and get your training for five pound yeah. an hour for mm. like, let's say three year while you do your apprenticeship? You can go stack shelves in Aldi for 14 quid an hour. Mm, I, get it. At you. No, I get it. I see that. But the so thing what? is, if, if you want the big boy money, you've got to do the big boy training. Yeah. So you need to work through and do all the grunt work, you know, making tea, sweeping up, watching. Yeah. You know, it's one of them. I mean, that's the old fashioned way, isn't it? Start at the bottom, you know, make yeah, the this teas, is it. you know, clean the floor. Uh, and, and one day, you know Learn what? as you go. <clears throat> I started on £50 a week, me. Yeah. Mm. 50 quid a week. But it was mint when, obviously. Yeah. You know, I mean, when I was 13, 14 year old, I'm getting yeah. 50 quid a week and I'm like, oh yes, here we go. It comes yeah. to, it comes to the weekend. You can go do things, can't you? Yeah. Mates and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's, that should, it should be the mentality. Yeah. You know, this is it. As you say, it's so easy now to get a job somewhere else and, and, and be on decent mm. enough money. Yeah. Like I say, you've got to love it or grow up around mm. it. If you grow up around it, you're laughing. You're going to be in industry. You, you know yeah. how it works yeah. anyway. Or you've just got to have the, the passion, mm. you know, to keep going. Yeah. What they say, Basically. if you love your job, you'll never work a day in your yeah, life. Yeah, this is it. Don't get me wrong. I, I love my job, but some days I think, oh, why did I choose this as a career <laughs> yeah, path? You know what I mean? I yeah. would rather be sat in B&M putting chocolate on the <laughs> yeah. shelf. Do you, do you, know, do you yeah. know what I mean? Why am I yeah. here? Eat you know, it. When you're yeah. laid in a puddle in minus two, absolutely yeah, piss wet through. You just yeah. think, oh, this is not it, mate. Yeah, this is not it. No. <laughs> well, then you'll wake up the next day and it'll be a different day again. And yeah, this is it. And then and you have a belter every day. Yeah, that's it. That's that Spill oil in the back of your van and stuff. and Cut your finger. Slice your finger Yeah, that's it. You have yeah. days like that. Well, things normally come in threes, don't they? So, yeah. Did you do that on your on your own car as well? No, it went on a truck. Oh, that's all right. At least so you can pay for it then. Yeah. What I've done was, let, so I, I was cutting an air pipe on a truck. I got a black, brand new blade out, so it was sharp. Yeah. And it was tight access, so I couldn't really get in to push on anything. Every time I pushed blade on it, it just like bent the pipe. So yeah. I, I wasn't getting nowhere fast. So I thought I had a, you know, when you have intrusive thoughts, I thought, yeah. right, I'll smash this. My timing's going to be bang on. Put my finger behind it, got oh. my blade. And I started, you know, like edging towards and I thought, Ugh. right, I'm going to move my finger just in time. Watch this. Yeah. No. No. The, the blade were in my finger and I was, oh, yeah, I was just like, well, it. there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's one of them, innit? Yeah. I thought I'd drop the blade. I thought I'd drop the blade on four. Like, oh, that was close. Pull my finger out. And I was oh, like, no. well, that shouldn't be there, should it? Yeah. <laughs> I suppose with the cold as well, you probably yeah. you know, lost some sort well, of Well, I didn't, I couldn't feel it. Like I said, I, I yeah. pulled blade out and <laughs> we just started pissing yeah. blood everywhere. And I was like, oh yeah. no, <laughs> this is a nightmare. I'd run out of plasters because I'm always cutting my fingers and stuff. Yeah. So I had to go run over and get some plasters and yeah, no, what a nightmare. I've seen quite a few tech, like they'll have no end of the finger. So they'll just have like yeah, just two thirds of the finger. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Using the touch screen, like. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's not going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can we have a stylus? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went to one guy, I can't remember what it was now, but literally had to have a stylus because just the end of the finger yeah, yeah. just wouldn't work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it, to be fair, that little cut caused me to have two days off of work. It yeah. You know, like if I, obviously that keeps it pretty straight. Yeah. But if, it, if I bend it or anything, it just pisses blood everywhere. Just, yeah. just crack, and it, yeah. it hurts now. Yeah. Like now everything, so, adrenaline is worn off. It's killing. Yeah. Yeah. I bet. It's, I not, bet. it's not nice, mate. No, it's not, it's not good. Goodness. What, trip to A&E when was it? Yeah. How long were you in A&E waiting for? It was drive there, to be fair. It was rush hour. Yeah. And oh. in our area, rush hour traffic's disgusting. Yeah. What should have been a 10 minute drive took like 45 minutes. I'm leaking blood all over my van oh, because no. this piece of towel's just not doing much anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Getting to hospital, she's like, what's the problem? And I'd, I'd got a <laughs> glove out at the back of my van and put yeah. my glove on. So I'm walking, I'm walking around hospital with one orange glove on my hand. Oh, no. <laughs> And she says, yeah, what's, what's the problem? So I just showed, I just pulled, pulled glove off and it just dripped everywhere. There's uh, blood pouring out at no, glove. I'm like, there you go. There yeah. you go. That's, yeah, fix it. She put Clean this bandage on, on that was the same size as Mike. So my finger went, I couldn't do this because yeah. that bandage was like out here. I'm like, that's yeah, coming off. Definitely. Yeah. Well, I'll I keep thought, stitches in, but
It, this was Pontefract A&E. Was it? Yeah. Shout out Pontefract A&E. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To be fair, I got in pretty fast, to be honest. It's oh, usually, nice. usually waiting ages. Oh, I everyone was fuming. I might have to drive up there the next time I need anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, everyone was off. sat in waiting area. Yeah. They've been there ages. I come walking in and I must have been some sort of high priority case because I'm dripping blood all well, over the floor. I suppose they've, they've got to assess it and they go, right, actually, you've got a cough. You've got a bleeding finger. Actually, we need to <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you've got a bit of an headache. We'll yeah. get him in with. You know, he's dripping all over his floor. It yeah. wasn't great, mate. Talk about bad jobs, Sam. I mean, have you got sort of a moment in your career where you've gone, yeah, that was my worst job? Uh, you know, have you had any experiences where you'd look back on that job and go, I never want to do that again? <sighs> well, it's... So there's, there's two things. There's with cars, yeah. it'll be timing belt on my drift car. Yeah. I'll never do that again. <laughs> like ever. Yeah. Never again. Um, and with trucks, I don't really know, to be honest with you. I mean, I don't mind getting stuck in my oat. There's yeah. not really been anything that I'm like, you know what? Never want to touch that again. Sort no. of thing. We never had a phone call and gone, oh, that's a horrible job. Oh yeah. We, we get that. So we don't get a phone call. We've got um, an app called Apex yeah. and we get all those jobs through there. They get sent to us yeah, from yeah, control room. Uh, and you'll get a job and you look at it and you go, do I even need a job? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you look at your bank account, you go outside, you've got free cars to maintain. And you yeah, go, best, yeah, yeah. best go, best go, yeah, go. Yeah. Let's go crack on. Yeah. But no, there's not really hope that's not, I don't, I don't know, to no, be fair. No, there's not I really suppose, anything. You know, for more years, sort of, you, you sort of have more instances, won't you? But um, I suppose, with the right mentality, actually, um, nothing's a bad job because you just deal with it. You this is there, it. That's it's it. Probably the, the the one I ate the most would be shunters. Like going out to a turbo shunter with a fifth wheel that's not <laughs> working properly. And you, you you already know for a fact that you're going to come home yeah. black yeah. and that stuff does not come off. No, like no, you no. get a little bit on your trousers, that's it, bin them. Yeah. You may as well. It don't come off. Blocks your washer up. We've had three washers at home yeah. from my work clothes. Just blocking pipes oh, and no. killing washing machines yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it's it. not good. That's it. They sponsor it with, uh, with, with curries. Well, I, I, yeah. In the summer, I, uh, we've got white Eclipse Jartus UK shirts and, um, I like lean, but I was doing, uh, showing some technicians how to use the kit and whatever. And I sort of stepped back and it's obviously where they like wipe the grease on the wall. Yeah. And the, all my back was just covered in, in grease. <laughs> my whole it's back. game over. Yeah. It's like game over. <laughs> but to be fair, I got it, I got a little bit on my jacket and they were like, don't worry, watch this bit of brake cleaner. Oh, brake cleaner. Isn't that, that everything. just magic? Yeah. My, my pal said that to me yesterday. Yeah. He's like, you clean everything with that, don't you? I'm yeah, like, yeah. mate. Get it on your shoes. Don't just clean brakes. Yeah. It cleans everything. everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, I'll spray it on floor and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'll pop yeah, it yeah. Up, you know what I mean? It cleans everything. It's mint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go on, Shanice, we've got some, uh, we've got <laughs> some questions give from me Ash. some as well. <laughs> <laughs> Did he rob the Haribos from his little sister? <laughs> I won't mind, I've not even got a little sister. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what bonding agent did you do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, for the two, pay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret. On, on me and Louie are clued up about this air stuff. Trust that's me. it, that's it. It's a need to know basis. Yeah, leave yeah. it out, leave it out. <laughs> <laughs> he's asked me and them jeans your little sisters I haven't got a little sister where's he, <laughs> yeah. where's he get, whose kid is he seeing it's, it's yeah. not mine <laughs> you know what I mean oh, oh no. them jeans yeah I wear my little sister's jeans to be fair my jeans are tight like very tight they're tight jeans painted on mate haven't for a, I haven't for a long time now like the skinny jeans Just can't, I don't wear jeans anymore I can't get comfortable in jeans no <laughs> oh, I love them me Idea. Yeah, I love, no, I, to be, I love getting suited in but though, to be fair. Yeah. I like my tuxedo. When that comes out, yeah. it's a good day. Yeah. Oh, no, you do. You, you do. level up when you- Yeah, you feel like James yeah, Bond, don't you? <laughs> yeah. When you've got a good suit or you got a good act, you level up. You level up. It changes you. Different person. It's your mindset, isn't it? It just, yeah. it just completely changes you. Yeah. Right? You feel like a billionaire. I'm going out, out now. Drinks are on me, boys. <laughs> so, um, we've got the beam crew. Yeah. yeah, to be fair, we've all got Beamers. You like Beamers, don't you? You've you got Beamers. Yeah, yeah. Ben's got a Beamer. I know. And oh, a Lotus. We've all got BMWs. I know, I know BMW yeah. crew. you got a Lotus. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. You want to see Ben's. I know. It's, it's in the garage. Yeah, it's I'm it's not surprised good. it's in the garage, mate. No, it's a Lotus. No, no, no. <laughs> it's in the garage because it's, it's, uh, it's a princess, isn't it? Oh, is it? Is yeah. it yeah. yeah, it's a summer-only car. Can't use it in the winter. Yeah. Yeah. Behave. It. It's got cup twos on it. And yeah. uh, I tried like, yeah, yeah just, <laughs> we took it out. It's, it's, it's put it to track mode, like, didn't yeah. we? Like yeah. minus two. It's scary, yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll chuck it keys for that out there, mate. I'm <laughs> yeah. a little driver, that. <laughs> Different, <laughs> source. Yeah. Different source. Different source. 
I, I don't oh, know. Oh, it's a proxy. It's it'll just, be some proper budget stuff. Yeah, that's on. No, I bought the car like three days ago. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, so it's just whatever it's got on it. <laughs> but so the, the, the specials. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a skid car, mate. The, yeah. the rear, to be fair, they've got a good tread on, so it's a skid car. I'm not gonna lie, it must have just changed them. Yeah, yeah. But on BM, I go through a set a week. Yeah, I saw the uh, the video. Uh, sort of recaptured you, aren't they? Run a oh, round oh, no, and round your about. mate, your mate, round around about. Yeah, yeah, private road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is yeah. Mexico, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, that we go to. Um, I go to what they call race wars every yeah. Sunday night. Okay. Um, when I'm not on call, anyway. Yeah. And just there was, this, there was this M3 acting go. It was skidding round round about flying up and down and stuff. And I thought, right, you think you're good in your M3, but have you got nuts? We'll see what you're about. Yeah. Anyway, we're tandeming round this roundabout side by side, oh, and I'm no. proper chasing him down. Uh, yeah, on no. this, and I, I've only got a obviously my, it's three liter still, but it's a three two five. It's what the, it's like the fucking the lower power mm. version, okay. but it's mapped out. Of it said like yeah. it, it's three hundred and eighty brake. It's stupid. Wow. Yeah, but. Yeah, we're chasing him around that roundabout. He weren't happy. No. <laughs> he weren't happy at all. No. Just paid 20 grand for a car to get smoked yeah. by a four grander. You know yeah, what I, mean? I, know, yeah, I, know. Well, I suppose that's the beauty of it, isn't it, really? What's the, what's the, yeah, we've watched the video. It's on Car Wow where they race a diesel. Oh, it's a 335D versus yeah. the, is it 340i? Yeah, it and it takes on like stink, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it might not even be that, but yeah, yeah, the diesel basically just, just walked all yeah. over. Yeah. The diesels just keep going. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're nuts. Yeah. They, they are good engines. Yeah, they do say that. that 35Ds are probably the best, the yeah. best engine you can you can have in them. Well, me and Ben have got the in ours. We got the three five Is, haven't we? Thirty five I, and then you've got the forty. Forty I, yeah. yeah, the proper one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is it the B fifty eight? Yeah, B fifty eight. Although you were driving mine, and you said that. To be, to be honest, I drove yeah. yours uh, one three five I, isn't it? And yeah. um, you know what? I jumped back in mine afterwards and went. Actually, yeah, that's the better car. The one three five is the better car. It feels fast because you lower down and stuff. Yeah. It's not. I think it's an SUV. You it's more like raw, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I know. You got like the pops and bangs and stuff. It just feels a bit more. I love a hot hatch. Have, have, you, have you got pots and pans on it? <laughs> have you pots got some pans? pans? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it, uh, it, I've, I've come someone to... in the back just in the yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 boot. That's, 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 that's the way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the back. No one knows. Yeah. But I, I think I'm used to hot hatches, so I prefer. I, yeah. I do prefer. It, You've had pretty much every hot hatch going, haven't you? Yeah, I know. I know. I do like. I thought this time, you know what? I go for something different, and I I love it. But it's just, yeah. I always go for a hot hatch. You mean you? You 17 year old boy race. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I've got to feel really old. There's a, cer there's a, cer there's a certain road, private road, uh, that uh, <laughs> just turns Aaron into a different person. Like we can, we can be on like three, four hour drives and he'd just be, you know, so he's, he's gone this McRae. one road and he's yeah. like, right, That's Michael it. Schumacher. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's, that's not me though. That Vin that. Diesel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm exactly the same dude. Yeah. I'll, I'll sit at 70. One. Yeah, seven, seven, one, seven, two. It's like on the, you know, on the on the films where like racing each other and they find an extra gear and you're just yeah. like, somehow they're like downshifting from. We we downshifting for like hundred eighty. That's fast and furious. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I've heard you shift gears eighteen times. Yeah. What are you in? Fourteen speed gearbox on a, on a ten mile runway. Yeah. Yeah. Truck gearbox on it. Yeah, yeah, really, yeah, yeah. 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 Put it in low the, range. I said, why wasn't you all already got your foot down? Yeah. Jason, yeah. Like, why weren't you yeah. already on it? Yeah, then neck and neck, back, back to get to the line. He just goes one more. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that gear. Yeah. Runway as well. It just goes on forever. Yeah, 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 yeah. It just, yeah. just keeps going. Yeah. It's world's yeah. longest yeah. runway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's funny. Yeah. It's funny. In our great cup. films. I'll, I'll yeah. never not watch yeah. one. But the the, the oh, further. The, a bit far fetched at minute. I know. Like, yeah, don't take it seriously. I know. Just, yeah. that's it. I th it started off like probably favorite one was like Tokyo Drift, and then yeah, it got to one. about five, didn't it? And it started to get a little bit unbelievable, Silly, dragging yeah. a tank. Uh, yeah. was it, a safe behind two yeah. chargers, wasn't it? Yeah. And then it just from there, it just oh, six. six uh, don't six, get me wrong; they all, they're yeah. all still good, aren't they? Yes, they're yeah. all still good. That supercharger noise as well, though. I, look, I look, prefer a turbo noise, oh, me. Dear. Like, there's oh, nothing better than a turbo, turbo yeah. Oh, no, I do have a flutter. Like these Hellcats and stuff. I don't, like, I'm not really big on American cars, but some of these, the supercharger wine, oh, I just love the, it. The wine is nice. Oh, it, it does sound good, doesn't it? It does, it does sound good, but you it ain't does. beat a, you can't beat a turbo. No, no. I love a turbo noise, me. We always watch um, Matt Armstrong. Uh, do you watch him on uh, on YouTube? I watch all his build series. Oh, he's amazing. Yeah. But what fascinates me is, you know, back in the day, 
he, I think, didn't he have a few jobs? I think it was a chef, wasn't he, in a restaurant? Yeah. Uh, or uh, worked at a takeaway, Indian takeaway. Yeah, that was yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. And he was just repairing cars in, in a, a car rest- park. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it's like, actually, Clicked. I yeah. can do this. And then yeah. it was his girlfriend's car and then something else. And then he got money from that, bought something else. And then all of a sudden, I watched when yesterday he's, he's rebuilding his own GT3 in four, yeah. 24 hours, thinking... Yeah, wow. it's nuts, isn't it? Yeah, Some people are just good at everything they do because he was a... Um, championship BMXer as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, he's like the sort of guy that puts his all or nothing into whatever yeah. he's doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, you I can mean, tell that in his videos to be fair. Yeah, definitely. They are, you know, structured, good videos. They're not just sort of pieced together, are they? He's living the dream, yeah. is, what, is what someone yeah. call and it. I, you know, he's living especially the dream. Especially that GT3 now. Yeah, so. yeah. Oh. insane cars. Aren't yeah. yeah. The, the part that got me, I think, and I think probably when hit, maybe he it hit him was, he, he was in, uh, was he in? Switzerland or something on twist back roads and his dad was driving the Aston. He was in his Lamborghini and he flicked back to a, um, a phrase that he said, right at the beginning, one day we'll be doing Lamborghinis. Yeah. And this was, he was driving in, in the Alps yeah. in his Lamborghini thinking, yeah, he's, yeah. He's, what, what a sort Thousand of realisation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he bought his dad a Rolex. Well, that's yeah. the- <laughs> oh, it must, must be nice. <laughs> that's, then. That's it's got to be nice, yeah, hasn't it? You know? you know what? Yeah, there's, there's a lot <laughs> yeah. of love And now a well. Ferrari. Yeah, no, yeah. Give oh, yeah, he's Ferrari, given him a Ferrari, he? didn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. So There's a lot of love there. But yeah, um, yeah no, but uh, it's sort of, uh, that's that's what I suppose. There's some pops and bangs. Oh, he's got pops and small pops. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It's your master. Yeah. The guy's yeah. been nicked. Yeah. Yeah. It is swan. It is swan, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 no one can cold. see outside here. Might look nice in here, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, it's going to be... Well, there's probably them down there. We've got Nathan on the door just to stop people coming in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah love it. Nathan would be able to bench press that car. Yeah, yeah, he, would. yeah. he actually would. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you want to be in five to ten years? Where do or I want to be in five to years, ten years? years. Or, yeah. <sighs> it's a nice question, really, isn't yeah. it? I'm pretty good where I am. Life's yeah. good. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. Mm. Life's, life's good. I've got my drift car. I've got my daily. Yeah. Love my job. Mm. You know, happy days. I can't see no kids in future. I don't want kids. Older I get, the less I want them. I just, I've never. I'm whispering them. just in case Ali can hear me. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> never wanted them. Like is that? <laughs> I, I think of him. Have him in the same place, job wise, money wise, and you know, I think we will be chilling. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. If you're happy in yourself and in, and things are good, yeah. This is it, innit? I'm I'm not really a an overachiever. Like if mm. life's good, I don't need much. No, no, you know. No. Exactly. No, I, 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 to be honest, I uh, totally understand how you feel. It's, um, I think sometimes people dream big and then they get so disappointed when they can't reach that goal. Mm. Yeah, uh, this is it. You just need to set the first step forward. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't need to be looking a mile yeah. ahead. You mm. know what I'm saying? Blame Instagram for that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think, 100% social media has killed yeah. my reality. Mm. Let's yeah. be honest, it has, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, exactly that. No, I, I think, yeah, right. With with Instagram, with with all the social media sort of platforms these days, I think it's quite easy to, and I, and I, I, I sort of like ambition and I like the idea of it, but actually you're damn right. If you're happy in your own little, in your, mm. in your circle. That, and this is it, isn't it? Matters. Just, I'm chilling. Yeah. I don't, I don't have to uh, impress no one. Mm. No. You know, I'm, I impress myself. I'm, I'm yeah. good. That's, yeah, that's, that's sweet. Absolutely. Important. Did you want an answer then of, I want to be a I'm going to be a mil- multi-million. I've got 10 vans yeah. on the road. Yeah. I'm going to buy, yeah. I'm gonna buy Yorkshire Rescue. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm yeah. going to buy Yorkshire Rescue. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's mine. Yeah. Um, you think you ever want to start your own business? <laughs> right. Way too much hassle. Really? Mm. Yeah. Way too much hassle. Jack, Jack, Jack's up at all hours. Nah, Jack, like, Jack's what? killed it to be fair. Like, yeah. but you ain't even going to buy it. It's a lot of effort. Mm. You know, people say all the time, like, would you not fancy going by yourself? But you're not just a mechanic, are you? Your accountant, your operations manager, you know, you've got a lot to take on. It's juggling, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> you've got to juggle all these different sort of, you know, things and make sure everyone's happy. Uh, where at the minute, as you say, you've got a job in front of you. Go and do it to your best ability. Yeah, th- this is it. Yeah. I can, obviously, and then you ain't got to worry. You've got holidays and stuff. So you're getting paid your holidays. So you ain't got to worry yeah. if you want time off that you've got to disappoint customers and stuff like that. But yeah, Jack, Jack's killed it, to be honest. Yeah. He's got a good system that works and good for him. Fair play. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know I mean, he's, he's, he's killed a machine. it. Credit where it's due. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like I say, he's going to be out all hours and then he's got to come home and make his tea and do his accounts. And then yeah. he's got to organise stuff for next day or next week or whenever. Nah. Way too much hassle for me, that. Yeah. Way too much hassle. Well, uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you've um, enjoyed this episode, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and uh, check out 
Lewis's uh, stuff on TikTok and what you on Instagram as well. Instagram, but, yeah. Yeah. Same username. There you go. Cool. Thanks for watching.